Hello and welcome to the Adam Friedland Show podcast. I'm joined here. Just talk for a second. What? Just talk for a second. Uh, welcome to the Adam Friedland Show podcast. I'm Adam Friedland, your host. I'm sitting next to Nick Mullen, my friend of 12 years and uh, my colleague, business partner. 12 years a friend. Yeah. Well, to me, it felt like at times a, a slave. Okay, just keep talking. Okay. Wait, what's going on? I'm checking, just, I'm doing Oh, the read. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. I mean, we, we could have started that. I just started. No, it's apologies. Apologies. Already, apologies. Okay, running, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Running I'm sorry. late here. No, Folks, no. Uh, next weekend, Nick will be in San Diego, California, the Comedy Co. Is that right? Yeah. It's, um, yeah. At the American Comedy Company. Yeah, Thursday through Sunday. And then this weekend, I will be in Irvine, California, not far from San Diego, at the Irvine Improv, Thursday through Sunday, the 8th through the 10th. Um, come on out. It's going to be great. I'm sure it will. You think so? I'm sure it will. I'm sure your shows will be great, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just, you know... I mean, there was no weekend. This this one is rescheduled. So I mean, well, I guess that gives me time to do this. Uh, but we have to update the review of the the Black Magic. Cannon. The mini. F this one won't turn off now. And who are you blaming? What? I, I I like that my policy is I don't touch wires or buttons because I probably would have broken it by at this point. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess we need something more durable. Probably. Uh huh. Some kind of Does that company that makes relief. Tough Book, those laptops, do they make cameras? I, why? For like a. Uh, you just like, wanted to say Tough Book? Otter Box? Yeah. Yeah. Do they make the, a. The camera? classic Adam bit saying a thing in a way. In People such a way. say things, Nick. Saying things in such a way. <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you mean in What's such a way? Panzone's Pizza. I don't know. I, got, I ran out of shirts. I bought it in Portland. Is that a place? Pan Zones? I, I didn't, you know, it was in a thrift uh, store. I was looking through for, for pizza places last night on Seamless, and there's a place called Penis La Frichetta. Pizza, have you seen that? No. Did you try it? No. I've never tried pizza. Maybe that's the big sausage pizza place. You yeah. finally found it. Maybe it is. Oh, what's going on with you? Me? Yeah, you got like a personal crisis going on? Yeah. What's up? A lot. Just go ahead. It's been, a, it's been a stressful couple of weeks for me. What's I don't really on? want to divulge specifically. No, just go. It was it. all really capped off with uh, what happened to my dog and thinking I was going to lose my dog. Shout out to the girl who lives in Bethlehem, Connecticut, and I guess knew who my dog was and uh, saw it on the town Facebook page and looked for my dog. I really appreciate that. There's good in the world. Um, they got this, this tucking controversy at... at uh, Target. There's, it I don't just think that's like, going on. I think that 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 they're like. I'm just saying. It, it feels like people are are at odds with one another, and I went to Target the other day because I was like, "Am I? Yes. Am I, is there something going on at Target that I I'm not aware of? Uh huh. You know. And uh, oh, we got it. Um. Is there something I'm not aware of? Like, is, uh -huh. is, is the pride display different than it's normally been? You know, this is New York. They're not hiding anything here. Yeah. And uh, it seems like the same as it's ever been. Like, Target's always had, they've always done that. Pride and then mannequins of some big gals, too. I remember when that was new. Yeah. And I said it on the show. When that dropped. I remember I'd said it on the show before, but if, 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 like if I had if I didn't have the internet uh -huh. and I went into Target, I remember because Target had the fat mannequins before anybody else did. They were at the forefront of that. Yeah, and if, if I had gone in there not knowing anything happening on the internet, I would have seen that. I've been like, I mean, that's fucking. You're that's, like, that's gold. That's funny, but that's mean. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'd be like, that's come on, <laughs> that's fucking mean. Right. You know. Because you, you didn't realize the inclusivity. Well, to me, outside of the context of, like, the cultural criticism uh. of body sizes and any of that, the goddess is a place where we have fat mannequins. If I see that, that somebody, like... And I remember, I was, like, even when I was, like, 17 or 18, trying to... Before there was any kind of fat acceptance movement. Uh -huh. I, like, remember being, like, yeah, it's weird that you can be... Like, you can't be racist. 
but you're allowed to just shit all over fat people. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like the Jews of body sizes. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. You know, there's mm -hmm. a lot of fat Jews, too. Mm -hmm. The fat Jewish. The meme aggregator. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, that guy. Um, Have you ever seen doing? that guy? He, he's around. Is he? I just see him walking down the street. Yeah. He has but, a ridiculous haircut. Anyways, um, that you ever think, like, Subway Jared was like, look, I can't be a fat Jewish pedophile. <laughs> He's like, you gotta I gotta drop. One. I gotta drop one. Yeah. And he lost the weight, and he's like, It would have been nice okay. if he dropped the Jewish. Yeah. For you know, us. it'd be even better a story about a big fat guy, or maybe Subway Jared's story. He was always regular size, uh -huh. and he was like, I started going to Subway instead of jacking off the child pornography. Yeah, it saved him. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's in all the commercials because he's like, This was me, and it's uh -huh. him surrounded by like. <laughs> old computers and he's just covered in like cum and yeah. like my little pony stuff we should celebrate and then that he's like but instead of jacking off the child pornography i started walking the subway every day mm -hmm. you're like hi jared i'm even allowed near the elementary school again they took me off the list mm -hmm. the list is mean and then he gets canceled because we find out that they've been hiding from the public that he's gained 400 pounds subway jared arrested for gaining 400 pounds and that's how you know yeah but that's that's kind of a claim that you can never believe. What? I stopped looking at child pornography. Why? Because, like, it's a... Shane Vader said it. We believe them. They, them. Really? Yeah. That was... They're back out there? They're they back out been. on these streets? No, because when, when they got canceled... She is... She, she, whatever the fuck. Yeah. I don't know. That was the funniest thing. Yeah, they got canceled. Our main trans advocate on, on Twitter... Got canceled, and uh, yeah, what they said was that they weren't a pedophile. They were they just liked posting child pornography and like chats to bother people. Oh, as a troll. As a troll. Oh, that's a that's a step too far. Even the Joker. Book. The Joker would not. Mm -hmm. Even Adolf Hitler. Yeah. They'd be like, that's that's classless. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It really is the worst thing you can do. What? Look at child Fuck a kid. Jack off to kids. Yeah, there's got to be something worse, I think. But it's like an illness of their brains, I, right? I think, how about maybe pushing a guy with Down syndrome into a volcano? Mm, but that's, that's not a lovely we, child. Yeah, but luring him up there, being like, we got... It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be awesome. We're going to Disneyland. Oh, like, like planting like, bait? Where, where's Mickey? Like doing like a Hansel and yeah. Gretel We're like going, no this is trail? Magic Mountain. We're almost there. Just keep going. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's reprehensible. There, just, uh, uh, him just sort of falling in. Then the steam. And people are like, "What have you done?" He says, I got. I just got really sad thinking about that. Well, at least I had, didn't jack off the child pornography. They're gonna be like, "This is worse." There, people will be like, what do you mean, at least I didn't jack off the I'm just saying in terms of a cohort in society, that's the worst kind of person you can be. And the pedophile? I don't think that there's like a group of uh, volcano uh, pushers, mm -hmm. ment uh, pushers of mentally handicapped people. What I think, I'm more progressive than anybody. I think is, is you know, and I don't really know the state of it, but if they are doing reassignment surgery on children... Just give the penises to pedophiles uh -huh. instead of putting them in the garbage. The leftover. Yeah. Well, in the Jewish religion, you have, have to bury it, actually. They could just have a little a coin purse that they open up, and there's a little penis in there. And, and it just makes them smile. And, yeah, and they yeah. look at it on the bus, <laughs> and then they put it in and zip it back up. <laughs> and someone's like, where did you get that? And he's like, from the hospital. Yeah, from behind, the government. From the government. behind the hospital. Yeah. And you can't get mad at me because it was in the garbage. Oh, he's like a raccoon. He was like searching for it. Well, they would. I feel like as one a, man's trash is another man's as trash. As a matter of policy, if that is going to help them out. There's not a more apt use of that expression than, than giving children's penises to pedophiles. I don't know what it <laughs> It is a treasure. I think that's a good idea. It is a treasure to them. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. It, it would be really sweet. Did you ever see that Louis Theroux, like the. The like the people on the sex offender registry, like the living in that group house in L.A. Do you see that one? Mm -hmm. That like old sweet man that just couldn't stop jacking off in front of ladies. Mm -hmm. He was like, he gave this like impassioned speech where he's like, and and I I just looked at my penis and I was just ready to chop it off because mm -hmm. like I I it was the only way that I could conceive of like, uh you know being normal again. Yeah. And then uh. 
Yeah, and then over the, there was like a Chiron or whatever. And it was like uh, two weeks later, he was. I remember as a kid, I saw something that was like, it might have even been Jenny Jones. It was some like talk show about people that have, um, I don't know if you would call it a fetish because there's like, there's, there's things like, there's certain fetishes where it's like so removed from sexuality at all. Mm -hmm. Like a like, giant woman. Yeah, like a yeah. giant woman. A lot of the DeviantArt stuff, you yeah. know, like, um, you know, people that jack off the cartoon characters' feet. But it's like, do they even jack off to it? It's like, here's me going. They draw pictures. They draw childish pictures of themselves, and it's like, it's it's, uh, and it'll be on a holiday. Mm -hmm. it'll be like it's a Chris. It's Christmas. So he's a, here's a picture of me getting milkshakes at the diner with Mario's feet. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's yeah. like. Uh, well, I, you're saying they that they I found a community? I know, I'm saying you're not even I'm not remotely listening. close to listening to what I'm saying. You're saying that there are people that have fetishes that couldn't exist in the material world. No. No? No. That's not, not even close. All right, sorry, you're, I cut you saying, off. I cut you off, I'm sorry. You're saying your own thing. I'm just having a bad week, man. Then talk about it. I'm not going to talk about Don't it. Don't make me fish for a bit. And no, then no, no, continue, continue, and continue. Then, Talk about the, the the fetish things. We could we could do a lot with that. It's not well. It's not the point. Isn't that it's it's at what point this? Where is the distinction between fetish and just bizarre obsession? Mm -hmm. You know, like if there's no sexual element. Maybe I'm just being like pedantic, but well, isn't that the distinction that it makes you come? No, because there's a gray area in between. Like I'm saying with these drawings, it's like I don't think these guys. You know, it's like they don't jack off to it. It's like. He just sits around drawing himself going on dates with Mario's feet. And then they go play laser tag or something. Yeah. And it's like, I don't believe that guy's beating off, but if an observer would read it as necessarily kind of sexual, because what else would it be? Someone trying to escape the real world and I imagine know, he's best such, friends with Mario's feet. In such a particular bizarre way, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and I don't know, I'm sorry, I was going to mention something else, but. But you know, I derailed. Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, yeah. Because there was something else I, I wanted to say, because this might just be, I was going to call it a fetish, but it's probably not. It's probably just a bizarre a Oh, that's right, yeah. No, watching like talk shows. Oh, Jenny Jones. I, yeah, it might have been Jenny Jones. I don't think it was, though. It was some, maybe like a primetime special or something about people that were obsessed with, like they had to have a limb amputated. They like felt that they like had a limb missing. Mm -hmm. And then they like sort of did like a semi reenactment, you know, like dr dramatic reenactment of this guy that cut off his own fucking leg above the knee. And uh, or maybe it was below, I don't know. I mean, this was 30 years ago. So mm -hmm. And he had a, he like just they tied a tourniquet, tied his leg real tight until it was like fucking purple. And then he just set it up on like a, a piece of plywood and got a circular saw and just cut through his fucking leg with a circular saw. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, why is this on TV? <laughs> you know, like, why? It's a freak show. Yeah, why am it's I like watching It's like 600 it? pound life, you know? Mm, it's a little different than 600 pound It's a pound spectacle, no? Yeah. It's mental illness. People like watching freak shows. My 600 pound mannequin. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna start, <laughs> I'm gonna do everything I'm gonna get. All the, get all the, the business uh -huh. licenses or whatever yeah. and just make the fat, just aim for the fat, like Howard Hughes. Mm -hmm. I'm making the biggest, this is the fattest mannequin ever anyone's ever seen. I'm, I'm loving that. I think we should do a couple like... Uh... To testify in front of Congress. <laughs> now, Mr. Hughes, these mannequins are too fat, wouldn't you say? You're like bleeding from scratching yourself because of your obsessive compulsive yeah. disorder? Uh-huh. That movie America is so wanted good. fat mannequins and I delivered it to them. It'd be cool if we went to China and we tried to like source the suppliers for the fattest uh, mannequins. I would love to go on a business trip to China. Well, they should have Guatemalan mannequins too. Especially like human mannequins? At Kmart. No, like just the size. So small. Small and stocky, you know. Like 5'4". Yeah, to wear the like, you know, Spider-Man tie-dye t-shirts, mm -hmm. you know. Because that is kind of who, who's, yeah, like who's going Ed for that. Yeah, like an Ed Hardy Spider-Man t-shirt yeah. and a Milwaukee They should have backpack. like a like apartment complex slut uh, mannequin for like the Cookie Monster pajama pants. Mm. Yeah, and like a wife beater. Yeah, apartment complex slut. Is that how you talk about women? It was kind of a little bit hardcore. Why'd you have a bad week? Me? Yeah. 
It was just like a, just a bunch of like uh, crummy things that, you know, crummy things happen. My sister got in a bad car accident. It was that really was weird. three weeks ago. No, it was the beginning of last week. And then my dog. And it was the anniversary of my week. mom's death. That's something. That's you know, real. There was just like a lot of stuff that happened. You know? Would you do anything for your mom? Uh, you, you, I did this. I did like a Jewish prayer. And you light this this candle. Is it a special candle? Or yeah, it a, it's a special of? candle. Yeah. Do you have to go get it? Or is it just the holder is special? Um, you know, menorah is... It's a, a candle that lasts 24 hours. Because so you, you just put regular candles in a It's a candle that lasts 24 hours. So you light it at the beginning of the day, and then it's supposed to last all day. Did it? Uh, I didn't really track it. You didn't. You just gave up. You lit the candle, and you said that's enough. It's not about the today. candle. It's that it would make it her... It sounds like it's about It would the make candle. her happy that I said the, the, the spell. And how would she feel if she knew that you just didn't even... You went out and you spent. She money wouldn't care. That that's not the woman she was. The special candle. No, she would be like, you and did you can't the. Even be you did the spell. You're such you a good boy. You can't even be bothered to see if it lasts 24 hours. No, she was like, you did the spell. You're such a good boy. I'm, I'm so proud of you. I it love. Sounds like you. she made too many excuses for you. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. The whole point. That of the was thing, pure love. The whole. That point, was pure love. The whole point of the thing is a 24-hour candle. No, that's not the whole point. The whole point is remembering your loved one. For what, 15 minutes? I just and mentioned... Then the, and then it's the candle's I job? I mentioned the gear to you. What yeah, gear? it is the candle's job. You transfer it to the candle. What's the gear? The gear is the candle. You're fixating on the gear. It's the spiritual... Like Richard gear? Yeah. Is it spelled the same way? Yes. Um, yeah, so there was that. So can you put the candle in your ass? A little bit? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And my mom would have been touched by that. You know, it's like to create a little bedroom yeah. scene for the gerbil you have in there. Do gay guys really do that? No, it's something that people made up about Richard Gere. I thought that's a gay thing. I think that's the reason he had to convert to Buddhism. I think that rumor to spread. beat the gerbil ass I allegations think that destroyed him. I think like he it's thought he so was the funny. coolest guy in the world. To start a rumor that good, yeah, that like you literally are, it's yeah. chasing you the rest of your life. And it was it was yeah. the brother of the Cookie Monster pajamas girl. It was some guy in fucking Ohio that was like. Yeah, that guy fucking shoves gerbils in his ass. Just a fucking liar. A yeah. guy drinking Rockstar Energy drink. Yeah, right. Just an absolute liar. Yeah, the pre-Rockstar Energy, the Big Gulp era. The Hell yes. Big Gulp filled with Absolutely. ice cubes and Miller Lite. Absolutely. Yeah. Gray area sexual assault. Yeah. Yeah. Classic Ohio. That's who started, that's who started the... Uh... Yeah, that was, a, I told, that was that thing I used to say about my dad telling me about Catherine the Great. Uh-huh. About how that was a rumor that's still around. It was just started by some French gay guys. Mm -hmm. who were like, oh, is it? I heard that beach of fucking horse. That's a great rumor. Is this year different than other years? How many years has it been? Three years. Three years. Oh, that's more recent than I thought. I guess with the um, pandemic, it's. It was just hard because, like, uh, my si you know, my sister got in that car accident. It was just like a hard week. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know, I just lo I love my family, and it's just. Sure. It's sad. It'll yeah. always, like, it'll always be painful. In what way has it changed, though? Is it a different... I think the shock of someone not being there, you can deal with. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you can adjust to that. Like, three seats instead of four. But, and I think it's kind of a nice thing, but the pain just... What do you mean it's a nice thing? It's almost a nice thing that you're not about... You don't have to heal from the pain that experience just becomes part of who you are and you understand life in a different way. Mm -hmm. So it's not a matter of like waiting around to like, oh, I'm going to feel better. Do it's you think just that's like, like a, like a I don't know, maybe I'm... We're doing this, thing. we're having deep, deep chats again on the show. Well, what do you want to talk about? No, no, I like it, I like it. No, I, I enjoy it. We don't have to talk about it. No, no, I'm it's not fine. criticizing. It's deeply personal, it's not... You're you know, very, you're very intelligent guy. I value your... Now you're patronizing me. No, I, I'm not. I don't know. Go ahead. I mean, it's just, it's interesting. I don't know. It is, yeah. an, it's something that you're never prepared for. Did you do the candle thing last year? I think I skipped last year. I did the first year. And it, what, did you skip it because it's like, I can't deal with it? No, this? I was just like sad that my, my sister was like very, it was very, like a, you know, a matter of like a foot and a half from her, like, you know. Her, what? She was like you going through an intersection. She was sister. going through an intersection. She got T-boned. No, I'm at. Oh, so and that so I was kind of just like you know yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it wasn't like you couldn't bring yourself to do it last year. No, it was just like uh, thinking about your family and appreciating them, mm -hmm. and just like you know feeling fortunate that we all 
mm -hmm. have each other, you know? Yeah. I don't know. She would be proud of me if I if she saw me if she saw if she saw me doing the little spell, she would be proud. The spell? Yeah. Do you think she would be proud of the show? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. She was always trying to make me. Well, folks, it looks like my work here is done. No, that's not true. But no, she was Good always. Luck to you. Good luck to you. She had no my friend. She like couldn't process uh, comedy. Yeah. Like uh, like in terms of bits. Like uh -huh. she did. She just like didn't listen. Mm -hmm. But she was always like, well, why don't you wear like a? It's certainly one trait. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> one trait you inherited. What I get from my mom is my. Inability to listen to people or understand bits. No, she just... Okay. She wouldn't listen to any of the words on the show if she watched it, but she mm -hmm. would see that I was wearing a suit, and it would make her very happy. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. She'd be like, you look like a nice boy. That's there. kind of everybody's parents. Everybody. It's so sweet. I mean, not everybody's parents. Yeah. A lot of people are like doctors that save lives. If you're a comedian and you find success, your parents have to be like, yeah, I, I saw that you're... Um, Seems like things are going well for yeah. you. I can't. I can't uh, that new Epstein chunk is. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> like, what are they going to say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a video of you trying to suck your own dick that has two million views. <laughs> what a <anyway>. reprehensible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is like. Yeah, it's I like. Saw, I saw you. I, I saw that, that video. You, who, who's that, that? Got that big fella, Bobby Kelly? <laughs> is that his name? And he's got a dildo going through his zipper yeah. in his pants, and you're sucking the dildo like it's his cock. Yeah, I heard and, you uh, sucked Louis J. Gomez. Yeah, you know, I'm really, I'm really not. Gang. I'm kind of out of touch, but it seems like things are going well for you. I think it's. I like think back to like when I told my parents I wanted to be a clown, mm -hmm. and it really makes me cringe. When you told them that? Yeah, they were like absolutely right. They were like just. Go to law school and like we're like an immigrant family. But, Just do something. Uh, well, d I mean, do to, something secure. To like, be fair, you would have been the worst lawyer of all time. I would have been so bad. You would perjure yourself constantly. You no, would, no, I would. I I think I would litigate because I would have been into the theater of it. But if I was doing like bad. contract you'd be really law, really bad at it. I'm so sloppy. You'd be you'd be, you'd be no, sitting no, there no. in jury selection, leaning over to your client, no being way. like. I think they want to have sex with me. No, I would have. No, I would be like fucking Johnny like these, Cochran, these Razzle guys, Dazzle. You're like, no these guys way, are gonna, bro. These guys are love. They're gonna love me, dude. And then you would just bomb, and then dude, somebody would get the death penalty. For, That's not true, dude. For I'm forgetting to return library. I books. do like a Razzle Dazzle Johnny Cochran kind of thing. No, I do like a black church kind of like rhymes and like, the glove don't fit, you must acquit. Mm -hmm. So sick. Yeah, I don't think so. You don't think so? No chance. Why? I think you, I think I don't think you can do anything other than this. No, because I understand a jury of my peers. They're not watching for the laws. You don't. They're understand, watching for the show. You don't understand anybody. That's what makes you particularly suited. I think to you're projecting. People. I think you're projecting. No, it's I. It's, I love people. What do you mean? I understand people for sure. No, a good interviewer doesn't understand people. That's not true. Joe Rogan is the biggest empath in in you, America. You do, a good interviewer is somebody that goes. They take a specific thing and. They ask a specific question, but what the general question is, is explain basic human emotions to me. And then somebody does it in a seemingly specific way. That's what Charlie Rose was doing? Yes, yeah. That's what Ed Bradley now, was doing? Now, when you were writing your book, what did it feel like to write a book? I mean, it's like... You're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. I never saw it that way. That's why AI is going to take over. I just saw it as... Schmooze. Every, every human interaction is entirely formulaic. Everything is already written. It's over. No, not us, it's dude. Over. What? Not us, dude. We're one of a kind. No. You can easily replace us with AI. Not us. You just have to make the AI slower. That's the only problem. <laughs> ChatGPT types too fast. It's if it could true. just, if ChatGPT could, go so fast? could res re respond and yeah. take a break every three seconds and cough or pick its nose, yeah. you're done, pal. I'm not done, dude. It's all right. You said it previously that there's no way that it could mimic my intrinsic mediocre mm -hmm. affect. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be aiming for a different kind of mediocrity. Mm -hmm. How could a computer mimic that? Yeah. Yeah? I don't know. Impossible. Yeah. How could a computer mimic the mole dog? Pretty easily. No, I don't think so. No, I have a pretty formulaic approach to everything. You know what a, a computer could mimic? The Come Town podcast. Yeah. yeah. Like the mashup characters. 
Well, even the setup of the show, I mean, everything is... See, that's the other thing, too, is, is everything is just... Well, whatever. This is, go ahead. No, I don't, I don't have a point I want to make. I don't care. I'm just fishing for some kind of conversation. But am I not obliging? No, it's not that, it has nothing to do with you. It's like I have nothing to say on the issue. So they found aliens yesterday? I saw that. And it, you know what's funny? And I, I, uh, I was going through the, I was flipping through the channels last night, and I wanted to hear about the aliens, mm -hmm. just because it's comforting. It's know? nice. Yeah, it's a type of news for, like, that, you know. And it is, people say it's a distraction, but it's more like a, it's an effective distraction. Distract me with that, I don't give a I think it. people need it bad. Yeah, right, exactly. I think society needs that bad. Yeah, right. And uh, I saw Cuomo, the News Nation show, and I'm like, well, he's probably talking about the aliens. That's our boy. I put it on, it's like when I hit, and the show had already started, and I turn it on, and as I turn it on, he's sitting there, and he goes, aliens. <laughs> Just like <laughs> immediately. Did he crush it? Yeah, his show is like, his we show's love actually, him. the new show is... Folks, we love dude, him. Dude, I'll be honest with you, I didn't really watch, because I didn't get cable until the pandemic. Yeah. And at that point, CNN was just, it's all just COVID bullshit. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't care, you know? Like, yeah. And then nobody's watching full news programs, so I can't really compare as if I've watched whole episodes of his old CNN show. Mm -hmm. The new show is much better. Well, I was watching it during COVID because I was back home with my parents. They were just yeah. religiously watching. No, it's it. just he's like he's like, look, if it's nothing, tell us. Stop not telling us what the, whether there's aliens or not. He's my best friend. Yeah, and he brings a guy on. I hope that like, doesn't I think they you. should. I think they should tell us about the aliens. So sick. That's what the news should be. Are there I aliens? I agree. G give us the damn answers. Yeah. Yes or no. Yeah. Drop the shit. Yeah. Isn't Biden like pro like uh, X Files like releasing alien shit? That was like one of his platform points. What was that we're or was it Hillary? Maybe Hillary know. was. One of the two of them were like pro like declassifying uh, Area 51 shit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand the motivation with any of that. What do you mean? I don't know. What does it matter? Like, is that. Because, like, Cause it would be how awesome. many, how it would many make votes? everyone feel awesome. How many votes is that going to get you? I think it's more altruistic. I think it's more... Can you imagine being alive in the fucking moon landing 1969? Well, I'll tell you it this. It would have been so awesome. This is probably what it is. Is like, obviously, with January 6th, I mean, you can blame Trump, but a lot of that's, like, buttressed by this QAnon thing. And I still don't know what QAnon was, whether it's, like, just an individual or a couple of people having fun and it like grew into this big thing the theory is this naval intelligence yeah or it's yeah or it's something deliberate by the government you know that makes sense I mean, um, either way it's like you know if you recognize that like the power conspiracy theories now have especially like when everybody that lived through 9 11 and was young enough to be like susceptible to loose change you know yeah. um is an adult like conspiracy theories do have like real measurable power right so how do you like take that back and then also take that power back and then also like nullify it? And the easiest answer is like you start with the UFO guys. UFO guys make Bigfoot real, all of these things, because like now it's this sort of like uh, bizarro world where you can like uh, 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 gain credibility by engaging in conspiracy theories. So if you have people like uh, in the center or on the left or people who live in the world of like, you know, supposed uh, truth or whatever, mm -hmm. engaging in these things, it shows their willingness to ask questions that are inherently absurd. And by doing that, then maybe, you know, it's like if you can overwrite like QAnon stuff or right wing conspiracy theories with like a large popular belief in something like aliens or Bigfoot or whatever. So you're just you're. It's like dry, it's noise. It creates noise, but, but specifically what to if counter... if human beings found out we're not alone? That would be awesome. And if we were alive for it... That's what I mean. So it's working on you. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. If I was alive when they landed on the moon, I would have thought that was the coolest shit ever. Yeah. I asked my dad, I was like, do you, yeah, do, you think, think, do you think the moon landing was fake? Yeah. And he like almost started crying. He was uh -huh. like, if it is fake, it would like really hurt. Because it was so awesome to be like a fucking kid. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that people, like, shit seems really sad. People mm -hmm. seem very lonely. Yeah. And there's a... The I don't we, think... We, it, we, don't have, we don't have effective, uh, I would say, liberal conspiracy theories, you know? 
It's like they were all directed at Trump, and that didn't really, I mean, aside from, like, a couple of, like, theme accounts on Russia. Twitter. Yeah, nobody cares about Russiagate. I mean, a lot of people did. It's now it's a war for conspiracy. everyone that watched Maddo did. It's a private, it's a private war for like these these conspiracies. If Biden can make himself the UFO guy, that's in 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 some people's minds that adds credibility to him because it's. I know what you're saying, and you're probably right, but I'm just sick of being so cynical. I think it would be so cool if what aliens were real. If we found aliens while we were alive, but we have cool shit here. Like what? Like whatever's the at the studio? fucking bottom of the ocean, or what the fuck is an octopus? It's crazy. They're, they're it's insane. crazy. It's crazy. We already have whatever people are like. Their oh, brain is their entire it's body. Their entire body. And you can they, cut off their arm and they're still they're alive. They're doing fucking like tool laser shows inside of their body at all times. They're it's unreal. Like, fucking, like pyramids and like fog machines. Yeah. And all this shit. And then all they're doing is like eating crabs. They're using all of that. They evolved all of this stuff. I don't buy it. That nature would evolve all of these systems so that this thing can be like, oh, fucking, ooh, if oysters. A, if a fucking <laughs> spaceship came down and landed on Earth, it would be fucking sick. Yeah, but you don't care about octopuses now. You can go right now to the aquarium and see one. I watched the fucking South African guy. Who? The octopus Bear teacher. Grills? No, the documentary on Netflix about the guy that he teaches octopus. No, he goes swimming every day with an octopus. What and I would want to experiences see, its death. You want to talk about media being dead? What I would love to see is a remake of Radio, but instead of a mentally disabled African American man, it's an octopus. Mm -hmm. It's one of those just fucking trippy octopi that has lights and stuff. And, and then like, it's the manager like, of the, the team. The, the hell is wrong with that boy? He's just in a tank. So ain't right with that boy. <laughs> and it just, yeah, it gets one of the footballs. It like uh -huh. kind of slimes onto the field and gets one of the footballs. And then all of the jocks start beating it with broomsticks. Yeah, look and, at this freak. And Ed Harris is like, hey, leave that boy alone. Yeah, he's, he's like, what's your, what's your name, son? <laughs> and he's just not talking. He can't or, talk. No, but he he has like tele telepathy. Takes the or octopus something. home and his, his mom's like, they, they, they say they ain't, know, they ain't know what's wrong with the boy. Mm -hmm. He just light up a bunch of different colors. They say he ain't got no central nervous system. Mm -hmm. His whole body is a brain. So you saying he's as smart as we are. Well, it ain't like that. But if you cut off one of his arms, it'll still go find crabs to eat. You know? That'd, that'd be, be the movie. That'd be a good movie. Yeah. Nick. And they're like, you're, you're, you're ruining the football team because you're too obsessed with radio. He's still named Radio. Octo Radio. That's pretty good. Yeah. Wait, is he in like a tank that they wheel around? Or does he exist on like the dry he, land? He can breathe. He can breathe? Yeah, he can breathe air. And he walks on all eight? I think he's just sort of like gooey, kind of... Like it's the way crazy. you move. They're like, no... The way you move around. We've been doing a lot of body work recently. What? Have you seen a change in me after all of our body work? No. Not at all? What were you going to say? Can I have the thing? You watched every episode of Deep Space Nine. No, I actually haven't. I've seen maybe two or three seasons. Okay. You've, you've watched so much Star Trek. How I'm not sick a Star would it Trek be, guy. How sick would it be? I'm not a Star Trek guy any more than I'm like a, a fucking... Let me think of another show. Simpsons. No, because I'm definitely a Simpsons. You're guy. more Simpsons than... Absolutely. That show is very important to me. But I'm, I'm a Star Trek guy to the same extent I'm a, uh, let's say, a, a beyond belief fact or fiction guy. Actually, I've seen more of that show. That's I mean, not possible. There's thousands of... I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of episodes of Star Trek. There's probably 100 episodes of that show. No, it was on for like seven seasons. Was it? Yeah. Is that the one with uh, John? With it's with Cap uh, Commander so that's Riker. That's just Star Trek. It's not just. That's Star just Trek. in Star Trek, dude. It's not. That's it's, just Star first Trek. First of all, it's originally mm -hmm. it was uh, James Brolin. That guy's a hot man. No, not Josh Brolin. James Brolin. Oh, Silver he's, Fox. He's, double A beep beep M C O. Uh, double A V, double A honk honk V E. That's a uh, Streisand's man. <laughs> double A. <laughs> 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 Double A, ha, ha, B, E. And it's a, they do breaks, transmissions. transmissions. You can do a full car? 
What, like have sex with it? Yeah. Tranny. Mm -hmm. Tranny. Do they still say, Jackie. has tranny been canceled in the automotive community? I have no idea. Go, go, go look at the forums. Go check the forum. Go check the reddits. No, it's too much work. Um, I get what you're saying about conspiracy theories, but like, I wouldn't put it on the same level as something that just, life is sad and confusing and conspiracy theories give you explanations and tie them up with a bow and it makes people feel better. But it's not the same as a fucking alien landing. Yeah, there. I mean, there's an idea. And getting him on people, taps. People use fucking uh, conspiracy theories to turn away from like the injustices you're like complicit in either under capitalism or because you live in a country that bombs the shit out of other countries mm -hmm. saying, oh, well, it's aliens or the Illuminati or whatever. I mean, you know. My, my uh, friend was telling me, I was talking to Max, his brother is now QAnon and he got radicalized because uh, Matt Groening was on the flight logs. Oh, really? Of Epstein. That was like the first domino to fall in his mind. But like, what's Epstein doing with that? I mean, it's like, that's the thing. It's like, you know, it's supposed to be this whole CIA blackmail thing. Yeah. So what, Epstein, he goes on a plane and then he says, make the Simpsons shitty to take that away from people. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I, right. It doesn't make sense. Make Bart fucking say that globalism is good. Yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's where his <laughs> Don't have goes. a cow about globalism, man. Yeah. Is that, yeah, that there was like a political agenda to the Simpsons? Mm -hmm. He felt lied to his whole life. Mm -hmm. He's clearly covering up for some deeper trauma or something, mm -hmm. you know. But it is a, a really crazy thing to like get you started on Alex Jones. Yeah. Is The Simpsons. Mm -hmm. Feeling like the, the, the integrity of The Simpsons is called into question. Yeah. Which uh, is, is funny in the context of the South Park Simpsons did it first thing. Yes. Everybody blames South Park now for, for creating libertarians. It is kind of the perfect show. Because both, all political bents like can read into every joke as like that like identifying with uh you know conservatives and liberals watch that show and they identify with different parts yeah it's kind of a genius honestly yeah i mean I, I, at this point i'm so nauseated by all of these conversations i would rather just be in a giant political prison like a gulag a, a, everybody's in prison and you can't talk about this stuff anymore yeah it sucks but one of those Norwegian ones where you get PlayStation. Yeah. The, like, uh, the child mass killing prison. Yeah, does, let me see if Andrew, Andrew's What's Brevik, Brevik up to? Does he have PlayStation 3 yet? I think they, like, keep him two generations behind. Yeah. To give them hard time. Andrew's Brevik, PlayStation 3. Oh, PlayStation 4. He got four? Demand, yeah. So, so he's playing Blu-rays. Yeah, so he was demanding PlayStation 3 in 2014. <laughs> <laughs> he went to The Hague. Yeah. He demanded the replacement of a PlayStation 2 with a more recent PS3 with access to more adult games that I get to choose myself, as well of, as a sofa or armchair instead of a painful chair. Other inmates have access to adult games, so I only have the right to play less interesting kids' games. One example is Rayman Revolution, <laughs> a game aimed at three-year-olds, wrote the 35-year-old convicted killer. Yeah. He gets a weekly allowance of $50. Um, uh, yeah, does he have PlayStation 3 yet? <laughs> I thought you said he had four. All right, 2016. Rule in his favor. Yeah, so the court ruled in his favor. Um, okay. In the last time I said they can find me from insurance, decided to find me. Does he have? Just get to it. Whether he has. <laughs> uh, extended still as a resident. I, What's the source on this? Giving old PlayStation to mass killer is torture, says Nor Norwegian court. 
<laughs> You're kidding. Uh, no, I'm serious. Oh, they gave him an Xbox 360. Oh, that's that's shit. Yeah. But he's playing Halo? Um, I'm going to send him a PS5. Come on, dude. Don't say that. Why? Because he's a bad guy. But that's what Gandhi would do. He killed kids. Gandhi would send him a PS5. Would he? I think so. Gandhi didn't like Muslims. Is Anders Brevik Muslim? He killed Muslim kids, I thought. I thought he killed, like, immigrant kids. DSA people. <laughs> Did I thought he? it was like young DSA people. Really? I thought so. Yeah. I think there were little kids at like a immigrant uh, summer camp. Yeah. I don't know. Who cares? It was fucking ten years ago. You know what I mean? No. What do you mean no? I think it's maybe worse than pedophile. I feel it's bad when the government does it, but if it's just some guy that wants PlayStation Three. This is why I'm, I'm more Scandinavian oh, that, in my approach to. You're not talking about the murder of the kids. You're talking about the PlayStation thing. Oh, no, I'm talking about the the murders. <laughs> yeah, no, if, I mean, you know, when a state does it, it's an injustice. But if it's just some guy that wants PlayStation, I mean, yeah, don't do that. Uh -huh. But after 10 years, it's like he's... And then he's like PS5 secure. He's rehabilitated because 10 years with PlayStation 2, you realize like, oh, I shouldn't have killed those kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm playing Tony Hawk 4. This sucks. This sucks. If he gets out of I guarantee you... I can play DVDs on I guarantee on you he's not a threat to society. I mean it. Why did you he think do that's, it? Why did he do it? Because he was a uh, mean guy. Anders Brevik. Reason. Reason. For... It's pretty crazy, like, uh, how much people have just forgotten Stephen Paddock. Like, mm -hmm. I don't have, like, a conspiratorial bent, but that was just never explained. And people just forgot about that ten minutes later. What? Paddock. Oh, Stephen Paddock? Yeah, it's like... I don't think people forgot about it. But what was the explanation? I think it's just fucking, like, the, it, it, when it happened in particular, there's nothing really juicy about the story. It's not like he was, like, some explicitly right-wing guy. He's sort of just a mystery, he doesn't have much of a presence, and he does the crime. It's like the crime itself is sort of remote, even though it was this grand thing. It was the biggest mass killing in American history. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't have like a political or racial bent. There's nothing to really report on. What are they going to do? Say, oh, we don't know why he did it over and over and over again? Well, just, I don't know, it feels like people moved on pretty quick. Not to conspiracy people. What That's do they why say? Biden should have campaigned. They say it was an arms deal, I'm gonna, right? I'm going to get to the bottom of it. You know what I think? I'm going to figure out why Stephen Paddock shot up the guard. I would support that. Concert. It was the aliens. No, you know what I, you know what I think? Honestly? I met an alien. Alien Gonzalez? He's my friend. Um, I think he was, trying to, he was trying to whack Bill Zarian. It's Biden, pretty good. Biden does that a lot. His eyes get, his, somehow he raises his eyebrows and his eyes get tinier. Have you ever voted for the president? What do you mean voted? Did I vote for Biden, you mean? Did you ever vote in any general election? Yeah, of course. Obama? Um, no, I did not vote. In 2008, in 2016, I voted for, I did not vote for Hillary. So, yeah, you know what? I you abstained. voted in the primary? I in the general election in that year also. And, and I think last time I voted for... I wrote in Harambe. I, I voted for Howie Hawkins, I think, just to throw my vote away. Who's that? Like a rockabilly a kind of guy? Green Party guy. Oh, Green Party. Yeah. It sounds like someone that died on a plane with the Big Bopper. Yeah, yeah. Howie Hawkins. You're thinking of Herbie Hancock. No, that's a jazz fusion guy. Yeah, he died on the plane also. No, he didn't die. No, it was Richie Valens. It was the day the music died. Yeah. Richie Valens' name always... Buddy was, Holly. Richie Valens' name always reminded me of that uh, tube that goes from your balls to your penis. <laughs> what is it called? You know what I'm talking about? It's the one they cut when they do a vasectomy. It's, well, I think they, they like, put a closed pin on it. They cut it or something. I think they just... Okay. Because you can get your ball tube back. Because they sew it back together. Seems very delicate procedure. Yeah, the surgery is good now. Yeah. Um, the tube is called what? Death, death what? Death, death you just knew that, Adam? It's called Boz Lerman. Boz Lerman is the name of the tube. Herbie Hancock is still alive as well. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. 
Howie Hawkins, though? You know what's something that upset me? No. And this isn't really of a concern anymore. I thought the Green Top Ben & Jerry's ice creams were the vegan ones. What are they? Just something, style. Something different. They're, they're like uh, environmentally conscious? No idea, but they're not vegan. I haven't had ice cream in a while. You should get some ice cream. We should do it after Especially this. this week with, you know, the anniversary of your mom's death and stuff. What? what is, you should. You should have gotten ice cream. Do your prayer thing, but get yourself it's some ice cream. It's very embarrassing I talked about this. Why is it embarrassing? Because it's very, it's, it's private. No, people, people hate you and they think you're like a, a, a it, bug. Nick. And you want to humanize yourself. Mm, Look, we don't have a choice. We're public figures one way or the other. Everything's already been taken away from you. You have no privacy. You might as well. Some people have privacy. Not you. What about Harrison Ford? No one knows what he does. He just chills. Yeah, I think because he's too old. I think they just keep him in a casket. Well, no, I think he's, he's not shooting. They're, they're, he's, in a, he's doing another Indiana Jones movie. Yeah, it's about to come out. Yeah. You excited for it? Well, I'm just getting over to my mom, really. Yeah. But after that, I'm, I'll be ready for some Indiana. Harrison. Are you going to go see the Barbie movie? Of course. I thought we were seeing it together. Yeah, I'm going to sit there the whole time and be like, Psh. Gay. Yeah, fucking yeah, right. Yeah, dude. right. I don't even. They got this wrong, dude. Mm -hmm. This is fake as hell. That's such a weird thing that girls were obsessed with, Barbie. What do you mean? It's like, you know, like, I remember, like, when the fat Barbie discourse started, like, 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like, it's like well, I was a little girl, I just wanted to be Barbie. And it's like, does Barbie do or say anything? It's just a doll that has stuff. Yeah, but she's like a hot chick, hot blonde chick Is from she, California. Though? I think that was the impression. Well, here's... Was that she had like a boyfriend and a dream house I, I, and a convertible car. I never understood it. It seemed like it was just a doll with blonde hair to me. Yeah. It, it, indistinct from any other doll. Uh -huh. And then what sold that for me is, did you see the Down Syndrome Barbie? I did see it. You would not know it's a Down Syndrome Barbie unless it said Down Syndrome Barbie on the box. Yeah, it was bizarre. It would just be Barbie. It was just a different looking Barbie. Yeah. Yeah. Barbie already, so it's one of two things. Either they fucked up the Down Syndrome Barbie or Barbie already had Down Syndrome the whole time. Or they're sexualizing And the I Down believe the, the latter rather than the former considering her name. Down Syndrome Barbie? No, Barbie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. You don't meet a lot of Barbies these days. You don't. And it's not because of the doll. It's because it's a, in a, a disabled name. And also Klaus Barbie. Yeah. The Butcher of Lyon. Mm -hmm. the, the Nazi. Well, wouldn't you kill people too if your name was Barbie? Yeah. He's probably getting shit his whole life. Klaus isn't good either. Yeah, Santa Claus? Yeah, right. He's, a, he's, le he's learning his imagine? name. He like learns German. German babies, they, they don't speak a word until they're four. And then yeah. they're fully fluent in German. Yeah. So he's like, okay, it's my fourth birthday. I can speak now. And they're like, oh, well, we have to tell you your name. And he's like, okay, <sighs> what is it? And they're like, Klaus. He's like, oh, fuck. Like Santa Claus. Like Santa Claus. That's the, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh. Well, at least maybe my last name is cool. Uh -huh. And they're like, it's Barbie. And he's like, no, I'm well, fucked. I'm I'm going to now. They I have will, to be the butcher. Of they Leon. will know me as the butcher of Leon. I have to kill the. Resistance. I will be the king of Leon. They're like, you don't want that name either. <laughs> it won't take a long time to make sense. <laughs> but you don't want to be the king of Leon. Either. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the butchers of Leon. The butchers of Leon. Your sex is on fire. That was such a funny band. Yeah, the butchers of Leon. That is. That might be the single funniest lyric. It's funnier than I'm sexy and I know it. It's funnier than shot, Your shot, shot. Your sex is on fire. Your sex is on fire. Yeah, it's what like a it's what like a 47 year old manager of Radio Shack says to a prostitute. <laughs> it's like a, to, to a to a Kmart prostitute. I I was imp my God. impression was like a guy with a massive dick that had no concept of the female orgasm. Uh huh. And that, and he busts after like four pumps. So that's what you would listen to Kings of Leon. You would just imagine huge cock. A huge <laughs> cock, four <laughs> pumps, rolls over. Your sex is on fire. Goes yeah. to sleep. Yeah, that kind of guy. The funniest. The kind was, of guy that I aspire to be. Honestly, the, the funniest was. Do you remember uh, what is it? Buck Cherry. Yeah. 
You're yeah, a crazy but, bitch. Well, you yeah, fuck when so that good. song came out, it was like, because you know, like conservatives would complain about how there was no like nuance in rap mm -hmm. music or whatever, you know. And they'd be like, rap songs are just like, yeah. get your pussy out. Let me make my penis hard and put my penis into your pussy You're until right. I come. Semen onto your uterus. And then, you know, you know, it's like, they're like, how is this a song? You know? Yeah. But like, Buck Cherry was when that like invaded white music and mm -hmm. there was, they, they didn't have a problem with it at all. Mm -hmm. Cause that song is just fucking yeah. You're, that you're song is is fucking crude. crazy, bitch. It's crude. <laughs> it's crude. It's fucking disgusting. It's crude. <laughs> you're crazy, bitch. But you fuck so when good. When you're on top of my penis and I can <laughs> see you on my penis. And I bust my dick I, yeah. inside your pussy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're just like playing it at the barbecue, the Fourth of July barbecue. Yeah, with families are there. Yeah, your son. Bug Cherry does not like. Your, yeah. yeah, your son Crud and Doorknob are running around. It's their sixth birthday. Yeah, pretending yeah. they're smoking. Sparklers like cigars and just inhaling fucking mercury, but it doesn't matter because your wife drank throughout the pregnancy. Let's get that Buck Cherry song on. So okay. good. Yeah. I think I think it's you can drink during pregnancy. Yeah, you think that. Well, I there's that show, the TLC show. Like I didn't know I was pregnant until I shit out a baby on the mm -hmm. toilet one day. Shit babies on TLC. Shit babies. And they were I always like, baby. she drank and Coming smoked up throughout the TLC. pregnancy, but the baby was born normally. I shit a baby. Did you see that fucking, that video, that girl in New Mexico? Who? There's some girl in New Mexico, it was like a month ago, and it's like fucking like, like a cop necklace camera. Mm -hmm. like a body camera footage. And it's already in a, in a hospital room, and the police officer's standing there, and there's a girl in like a hospital bed, and her mom's there. And the fucking doctor's in. She's like, okay, so I'll just be blunt with you. It's like we found a dead baby in the trash can in the bathroom. So basically this girl went in the hospital with, like, back pain. She, like, knew she was pregnant. She was, like, 18. She hid it from her mom or something. And then she went in the hospital with back pain, and then she, like, went into labor and just, like, went into one of the bathrooms at the hospital, gave birth in the bathroom, and then killed the baby and, like, put it put it in the trash can and then put a fresh trash can liner over it so it just looked like you know the trash can was empty. Oh, and then she came out of the bathroom like 30 minutes later and there was just like blood and shit everywhere. So they sent a janitor and, and placenta. They sent a janitor and they clean it up and the janitor uh, finds the dead baby. So they tell the hospital staff, they hold her in the, the room and they call the police because you know it's murder, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the video is like jarring because it's like, you know, it's like the girl doesn't really understand the severity of what she did. She, it doesn't... Register. It yeah. doesn't register. Yeah, it's like, oh, this thing came out she of me. She's like, so yeah, I just fucking killed, killed it. I killed it, yeah. yeah. Which, uh, you know. Well, I thought you, when you said body cam, I thought you were going to say that the cop shot, shot her in the, the pussy. No, yeah. no, no. The cop actually doesn't really say much of anything. Yeah. Because they can't do anything. I mean, they're just patrol officers. you got to wait until a cool detective comes in. He's like, boom, 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 ba -dum, boom, What'd you do with a dead baby, Tuts? So, blah, say, blah. Yeah. You didn't want the kid. I saw that dead baby. It was a femme fatale. Why don't you just give it to the fire department? <laughs> Why don't you just bring it down to the fire department? That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to be an old, old-timey 40s. You don't 50s. really need any credentials to be a private eye, right? Um, usually they're ex-cops. I think you need a mustache. Mustache? A polo shirt that you tuck in to your fupa. Yeah, you need a belly. Yeah. And a fat upper pussy area. Yeah. And an office, basically. Fupa investigation. And you need a horizontal blinds, mm -hmm. and you, it has to be raining no, outside. No, that's the old school one. The new school ones are like, they have like a Better Call Saul office. Right. They're basically a glorified dog the bounty hunter. Yeah. yeah. Fupa investigation. <laughs> <laughs> My name's uh, Michael DeFupa. I was a police officer for 25 years. I feel like you'd be very good at it because you're very good at the computer. I'm not very good at the computer. You can right? figure out IP addresses and... I don't know. I can't. I don't know what you mean by You've that. done it before. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, you... What are you talking I've about? I've seen you at work. Find an IP address? What do you mean? What yeah, does that there's do? A, there was a fella harassing a gal and you got the whole... All the information. Yeah, you just Google their name and you can get their fucking phone number. You're good. You're good. You just Google somebody's name. That's it. That's it? Yeah. They could have done that themselves. And actually, I didn't. You would, I, I, first of all, I didn't Google him. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about... Alex's friend. 
No, no, I thought you were talking about that person harassing, uh, what's his name's girlfriend. Who? This, this was fun. I was proud of myself. Yeah, so I've seen you. Why, why are you downplaying Because that's it? not computers. This was more of an Encyclopedia Brown thing. How'd that you guy, do it? That guy was sending emails to so-and-so's girlfriend. I don't want to uh -huh. go into details. And Sean, well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they asked me if I could help. And I don't know why. Probably because you told them I'm good at computers. I He's the best they, in the business. He's anyway, my boy. Um, but, you know, so you look at the email. It's clearly like a fake email. They set it up yeah. just to send these harassing emails. But I noticed they put two spaces after the period. Mm -hmm. Writers. Sentence, screenwriter. Only a screenwriter yeah. would do that. So I said, okay, well, it's got to be somebody that writes screenplays. And with that, they figured out who it was. And I was like, yeah. That's, that's that my, it's in my, it's in my, all my Encyclopedia Brown shit. This is a detective. Yeah. You detected that. It would be fun. I had to deliver divorce papers one time and stake out a house to do mm -hmm. it for like 25 bucks. And that was, that felt cool. So I just sick. sat, I sat, I parked up the street and I watched through the Did you eat no, in the car? Uh, no, I just, um, I think I smoked cigarettes in my car and I listened to Mob Deep. So oh, sick. Yeah. In, in the fucking rear view. So sick. I waited. And I saw him, I popped out. For 25 bucks? Came up behind the bushes. I'm like, oh, hey, so-and-so? They're like, yeah, I'm like, you've been served. I'm sorry. Oh, you did it politely. Yeah, I mean, it's horrible. No, I think you have this to woman, do a prank. This, this woman's, like, she's being divorced. It sucks. Oh, you did it to a lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. You well, she was, I think she was, like, cheating on the husband or something. Oh, so she deserved yeah. it. So know. whose side were you on? I don't know. My landlord's, it was my landlord asked me to do it. How was he involved? She was involved because oh, sorry, pardon me. I owed her rent. <laughs> so you had twenty five bucks. <laughs> she was involved because I was an alcoholic mm -hmm. and I needed to pay my rent. Mm -hmm. And you were twenty five bucks short. No, she was just like, oh, I got a job for you. I was struggling at the time. That was nice. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. You can go ruin somebody else's life. We can make a movie. I think about that. A, a process server. There was a movie with Matthew Perry. He worries a process server. Really? Remember, yeah. What is what is that fucking movie? Where he's been, then he falls in the love. The whole nine yards. Matthew, maybe it is the whole nine yards. No, that's about a dentist. He plays a dentist in that. Uh, serving Sarah. Was it good? Um, I'm sure it was. Well, it has a four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, but you can't trust what they. That's the. Uh, mm -hmm. I wish we could get Matthew Perry on the show. I mean. It's going to be that hard. Elizabeth Hurley in it, too? She is. Oof. What? Back in the day, she was a 10 out of 10. You hate it. You got to stop That's talking. That's just guy right? talk. Yeah, but you're middle-aged. That's middle just guy age. talk. You're middle-aged. You can't talk like that anymore. What are you talking about? Because then you turn it. You remember when we were young, and there'd be old guys that'd be like, wow, what a sexy piece of quarters. Or, you know, like... She's a real pocket of change. And yeah, like we're just embracing. You're we're embracing weird. that. No, don't be that guy. You have to be a just. That's a, just what a guy is. Fine, maybe for you, you can be that if you want. I'm going sexless. I'm gonna grow Fu Manchu. Repressed. No, not repressed. I'm retired, bro. No way, I'm retired, dude. And now I'm about wisdom. Elizabeth Hurley. All the chicks that were on Tool Time, the girl hosts on Tool Time. Bindi. Bindi Irwin? And Bindi Irwin was a tool time girl. Who's it? Kathy Ireland or something? I have no idea, dude. I don't know. Alyssa Milano. Yeah, it's weird if you... Uh, no, she looks fine. Who? Elizabeth Hurley. That's current. Well, I'm just saying, in that film, Bedazzled, she's unreal. What's that about a woman who puts jewels on her pussy? Um... The King and I? No, Bedazzled. God damn it, dude. What? Yeah, I thought you said what was. I said, what is that? The movie where the woman puts jewels on her pussy. Bedazzled. And then you said, what, The King and I? I, I thought you said, what was the movie where the woman put... I'm sorry, man. It's embarrassing. What? Not listening? I was listening. No. You didn't enunciate. No. Basilica de Guadalupe. Yeah. Did you get that there? Or is that another thrift shop fun? It was just in my car. Someone left it there. Someone left it there. I think a homeless person slept in my car a couple really? weeks ago. Really? I yeah. thought rats were fucking in your engine. Well, that happens. I mean, yeah. They probably do it in your car, too. Really? Yeah, in winter, they go up into the engine and they nest in there. And they have sex? I don't know if they have sex. They Why does everything do. have to be horny with you? Don't, don't, don't pathologize. 
I'm not path of Why does I someone say rat fucker? I went to my car <laughs> and uh, the seats were pushed forward and like all the shit from Was the anything back, taken? Nothing. And there was money in there too. That's nice. Yeah, they didn't take anything. And then it just Good for him. It smelled like body odor. Mm. But my car's not comfortable to sleep in. No. Yeah, I don't it's know. A, Maybe it was the only car. Basically that, a two-seater. Yeah, it was the only car that was open. Yeah. Yeah. What if he had sex? Again. I was just... Then I was... No, you said I it. was pulling your chain. You said it, and then you remembered. And that's a double strike for you, because it's... No, that would have been the third strike. No, it's too... No, too, I said that Elizabeth Hurley used to be sexy back in the day. It would be strike. Then the rats were fucking in your uh, thing. And then the, 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 the hobo was fucking when I in say your two car. strikes, it would be strike three on the sexual pathology, mm -hmm. and it would be strike one on joke stealing for the day. What joke stealing? It's a, they, what's the, is it old school where homeless people have sex in the guy's car? They have orgies in the car? I don't think, that, I think it was about a frat. Big Mike and the boys? Thanks oh, for, that is a Adam McKay. What is that? What movie is the that? The Other Guys. The other guys. It's such a good movie. Thanks from Big Mike and the boys. Yeah, yeah. The homeless guys. Keep they have homeless guy car. orgies in this car. <laughs> <laughs> they keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> that is very disrespectful. Um, I'm sorry for bringing up sex, dude. I don't care. I mean, it's way you don't I have don't to care, be. So, man. I'm, I'm easy. You think breezy. I'm becoming like? I am easy breezy, beautiful cover girl, dude. I mean, you, you think I'm becoming like a like a like a like a boomer? Yeah, well, not a boomer, but... Like a, like a dad? Millennials are becoming old, and there's no one to even find a charming because they don't have children. Now they're just old freak shows. Saying weird shit like, your sex is on fire. You're going to be saying that. So what are you saying? That I, Do you gracefully age no. into that? No, or do you cling to youth? Which it sounds like you're doing. No, I'm picking a better type of old guy to be. What do you want to be? Like, the weird hobbyist. Like sex? Model trains. Like sex with them? Mo something model train adjacent. That's not generationally apt. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know what my thing is going to be. I'm sorry. Wildlife conservation. I think that would be the dream, honestly. Bird watching? No, not bird watching. If I could just sort of like publicly respect elephants. You know what I mean? Make videos. I'd be like, they're our biggest friends. They really are. They are. They're so cool. Yeah. Well, they're they, really nice. They run. And I really like them. Their ears do this when they run. They're so cool. Yeah. It is and they funny. go so far, it's and so they remember where they're going. To already be that big, and then still have big ears, even in relation to how big you are. <laughs> big ears. They got to be like as big as us. Yeah, they have big ears and a big nose, and then in the elephant's mind, they're like, "Well, it just looks big because I'm so big." Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, "It's the opposite." I don't know, pal. It's the opposite. Yeah, they look smaller. They look they. smaller because you're you so huge. Imagine a fucking dodo with a trunk and ears that size. Pathetic. Yeah. A but bat. we don't tell them that. We're friends. They know. They're smarter than you. They're not I, smart. They cry, which I would too if I had to hang out with Indian people that much. Okay, fine. Nothing. Why would you cry? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Just leave me hanging. Well, there are different types of elephants. There are African elephants too. Mm -hmm. I feel I'm like glad you didn't opt for that version of the If joke. we had moved all the elephants to Texas... Mm -hmm. I don't think they'd be crying anymore. They get drunk off pumpkins. Did you know that? Well, like fermented They pumpkin? bury pumpkins and make alcohol Ooh, pumpkins. Yeah. So sick. And then they eat them and they get fucked up. That's kind of chill. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, it's goth, too. It's goth. Yeah. yeah, they love Halloween. Yeah. They love Jack Skellington. Yeah. They, they love, uh, what do you call it? Ichabod Crane. Remember we went to, I always forget her name. The pumpkin pit? Kathleen Turner's house. Yeah, I do. And then she had that picture of her with the, the elephant. She murdered an elephant. I think they were sleeping. I, I'm pretty. She's. <laughs> that was the funniest day. I'm you just think thinking that. You think she took a picture with a sleeping elephant? I don't think she's the killing type. All right. She's not like Don Jr. and Eric. Those guys go to Africa and kill. Do they, though? Yeah, they get on a plane, they kill, and they go back. 
I don't know. Maybe they get a head. They seem like the type of uh, like weird mutant aristocracy that like the like French dandies where they can't really do anything. They're, they're useless because they're inbred. Yeah, they would just stay in they're bed. They're not. They're new money. They would stay in bed all day. Yeah. Like the Habsburgs. Louis the Sixteenth. Yeah. They like couldn't feed themselves. Yeah. They pooped their bed. Yeah. They're just babies their whole life. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Because your parents are cousins. I would love to be a mentally retarded Austrian king. You're the king. Yeah. That's I think that's My Jews are too heavy. I think that's the movie. I don't want to wear bigger Jews anymore. They're too heavy. They had like a weird nose and chin, right? The Habsburgs? Yeah. Because of inbreeding? Yeah, they had to look like that. Yeah, and then imagine being the painter hired to do that. You gotta make just it look paint, better. Paint this monster, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're trying to work with yeah, it. Yeah, right. Yeah. You're gonna, and you're if you get, fuck it up, they kill you. Yeah, right. You get executed. You go to fucking jail. By this like 75 IQ guy mm -hmm. who like can't wipe his own ass. Habsburg disabled. How come you never see like disability activists claim them? The Habsburgs? Yeah, be like, look what we did. We were kings. Because they were kings. They, they was kings. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Charles II of Spain. He's the one that people show this. Let picture. me see. It's such a funny look. Mm -hmm. He looks like uh, that, that one actress from Garden State mm -hmm. where uh, she makes him a shirt. Mm -hmm. He looks like that old Jewish lady. <coughs> Yeah, and from his death, personal details. Let's see. Yeah, sure. Usual Spanish. Just get to the part where he's. When he's mentally disabled or not. Renal tubular acidosis. What is that? I don't know. He had herpes. Oh, everyone else. He's born, but he was born with herpes. And he also had hydrocephalus. What's that? Water on the brain. Oh, he was literally a waterhead. Yeah, he had measles, chicken pox, rubella, and smallpox. He also had rickets. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that episode of Simpsons where, like, Mr. Burns had every disease? Yeah. And they said it, it's the three stooges. So disorder? you're saying I'm indestructible. <laughs> oh, no. Even the slightest breeze could... Yeah. Indestructible. <laughs> Great job. So funny. Yeah. Great show. Look, Omer, that's why your robot didn't work. So he had every disease and he he lasted long enough yeah to be the king this is confirmed by a 1691 report submitted by an envoy from ismail ibn sharif sultan of morocco um uh, okay yeah there's not it doesn't just straight up say that he's disabled it's weird that there was never Nobility with like uh, like a Down syndrome. You know, you think there would be one painting. Yeah, I guess if you Google it, I imagine there was one. Here we go. Read it. Who? Were there any aristocrats slash royals born with Down syndrome? I tried to Let's Google see this. Um, Down syndrome, I'm not sure, but there are a few candidates for mental retardation. <laughs> Although with limited information given to do the lack of knowledge, much was hard to distinguish. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know children's ability. The king's got to be a pretty like obnoxious guy because like his entire life, every joke he's ever told is crushed. Wow, when you go on Quora now, it just has ChatGPT answer instead of people. Really? Yeah. They replaced those guys. Those are really obnoxious guys, the Quora guys. Mm-hmm. They're like Elon Musk reply guys. Mm -hmm. What's the answer? Um, yeah, they're mad. They're mad mentally handicapped people. Yeah, you know it's crazy that fucking people with Down syndrome, their life expectancy went from like twenty five years to like sixty five in a matter of like ten years. Mm -hmm. But the amount of people with Down syndrome has dropped precipitously because of prenatal testing. They're like going extinct. Yeah, so I guess like yeah, the negligent or the parents that didn't want them in the first place aren't just abusing them anymore. I guess it's a better life, right? 
Do you know if there's... If you're one I, of the 65 guys... I actually you, didn't know about this until recently. There's something called mosaic Down syndrome. Have you ever heard of that? No. Where you only have some of... Like, only some of your genes have the extra chromosome. And you're more functional? They're, like, some of them have, like, normal intelligence. You just really? you have, like, the physical manifestations of it. Like Patton there's, Oswalt? There's, like, a, there's like, a, 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 an, like a... What is it called? Like, when a student... Like, a grad student teacher in Spain who has Down syndrome. He, like, gives really? lectures. Yeah. And he's like, I'm just like everybody else. I mean, he speaks Spanish, so I don't know what the fuck he's saying. Uh, Maybe he's French. He's French. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then it's like, and then that adds to it, too. But that's... It's like, if, if he wasn't... If he wasn't French, he would be like a genius. Right. Being French probably takes more it's, away it's, from, it's held from him his back. intellect. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's kept the regulator on it. On yeah, that. the language just created to describe cheese and prostitutes. I feel like um, that's the, like having that disorder, but actually having normal intelligence is like a great deal, because people are always going to be nice to you. Mm -hmm. You can opt to go to lean in one way or the other. Yeah. People want to party with you. Yeah. Anytime you fuck up, you just be like, come on. <laughs> what do you expect? Yeah. Yeah. If you had that face, like imagine, like try BuzzFeed trying to write an article. Like let's say Maddie Healy had Down syndrome. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's like Maddie Healy's horrific comments about Ice Spice. And then mm -hmm. you see the, the picture of him. Nobody's going to get mad at that. Sure. You know? Yeah. Would They're they? going to want to party with him. Would they? <laughs> Would that? No. Okay. No. That, right. that, that, I, I agree. You know, I was thinking about watching again last night. I didn't. I ended up, I've been in this, like, just, I'm just keeping everything to a small way. I rewatched K-Pax. It's bad, right? It's really bad, yeah. It's really I bad. I mean, it's, like, laughable. Yeah, yeah. It's awful. Yeah. yeah. The whole premise of the movie is that if you deal with, like, severe psychological trauma, then you get visited by an alien that takes <laughs> over your... <laughs> <laughs> that movie is bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. And uh, you, like, in retrospect, him being connected to it, there has to be some sort of nefarious psyop. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, right. Why is he doing he's that? Playing, he's playing a movie about somebody that's so psychologically tormented yeah. that they become an alien from another planet. Don't trust it. Yeah. And Don't trust he, it. They're like, cut, cut, cut. And he's like, I'll be in my trailer with an eight-year-old boy. <laughs> he's making K-Packs. Should me. we get him on the show? Kevin Spacey? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to. But I don't want to, like, rehabilitate monsters. But he, we are bad guys. We're not bad guys. I want to drill into the pathology of the monster. Yeah. I want to be like uh, Jodie Foster. How, how would you do that? By saying the word pathology in a silly way? No, I'd put on a pantsuit. I'd be like, Dr. Lecter. Yeah. Hi, Dr. Lecter. Dr. Lecter. Hey, Kevin Spicy. Hey, Kevin Spicy, Dr. Lecter. Hey, Kevin Spicy, Dr. Lecter. Keep going. Why'd you fuck them boys? What else would you say is Starling? To Kevin Spacey, Dr. Lecter? Mm hmm. I'd give him my credentials. I went to Harvard. It's nice to meet you. How does Kevin Spacey talk? It's oh, nice. That's, oh, that's, oh, that's. Kind of like that. That's an interesting way to put it. I can only do him in, uh, in the House of Cards. Yeah, but that's him doing an act. You're you're not doing him in House of Cards. You're doing a Southern accent. No, the Southern aspect of his personality. No, no. no, no. What do you mean? So, so that is such an insane. All claim. your characters are pieces of yourself. No. Fucking, yes, it is. Oh, I can do I can do Kevin Spacey in House of Cards. I can do Sasha yeah, Baron Cohen in, your, in Borat. That's also your fucking Paula Dean impression. It's your Colonel Sanders impression. It's your fucking Foghorn Leghorn impression. I could do. Mike Myers and Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let me hear your Kevin Spacey and Austin Powers. And that's when I know that my plan. No, it's not that good. We're pulling it up. That sounds. Like I a, knew that ultimate power would be mine. That sounds like a fifty-seven-year-old black woman. It doesn't even. That's the character. House of Cards. What's the he character plays name? That. Frank Castle. Uh no. It's, no, that's the Punisher. <laughs> Is it the guy from House of Cards? <laughs> House of Cards character. What's his name? Miss Dean, Yvette. Dean Castle? It's Miss Yvette. Francis Underwood. Francis Underwood. And I knew I would have my revenge. All right, Frank Underwood. It's very bad. I'm on the spot right now. It's yeah. the kind of thing when you're alone, you're in the... They say we get the leaders we deserve. 
They say we get the leaders we deserve. <laughs> I'm Paula Dean, and I'm in the Senate. No, now you're just, now you're gonna lean in. Do your best. Do your best. They say we get the leaders we deserve. Pause. They say we get the leaders we deserve. Not even not same even close. same exact thing. No. Same exact thing. Let me just get I one, don't. dude. Yeah. He's hard to do. He has a very distinctive voice, but yeah, yeah. I can't do it. I can't imagine what it sounds like. I'm from another planet. I'm from another. I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and figure it out. You got it. No. I think that was great. I'm gonna build you up. You dude. Sometimes no. You can hear when it like clicks. Yeah, but he does have that soft affect. He does. He does have he that does, soft yeah. affect. But that's not the voice. It's like even if I did, if I talk like that, nobody would be like, that's Kevin Space. I did. That's what I was thinking. No, no. no. Yes, it was. Because I wasn't listening to what you were saying before because mm -hmm. I'm a bad listener. And I heard you do that impression. I I can do like, oh, he's talking about Kevin I Space. I can do Michael Myers in The Love Guru. Michael Myers? Yeah. What do you mean Michael Myers? It's murder. I said I can do Mike Myers in The Love you Guru. You said Michael Myers. No, I didn't. Do it. Here we go. House of Cards. Frank saying no. Enjoy endless Absolutely. I Enjoy will not. endless possibilities. Yeah, that's a great impression of the Ritz Crackers commercial. Yeah, that's in my wheelhouse. I wish I had a new one. I really can't. It's like you always surprise yourself, and then you think you're good at it, and then you play back a recording, and you're like, oh, I sound nothing like this person. What? Okay, fine. If okay. I build you up, you reject it. I don't need If to I knock you down, you reject it. Yeah. I think you are one yeah. step beneath Caliendo. That's that's what's in my heart, Nick. Is Caliendo still doing it? You can't stop him. Who's he got now? Who's he doing now? Everyone. Yeah. Perfect. I was I wish I could just He's I doing women now. I always just wanted to be an impressive. He does a hell of a Caitlyn Jenner. If I could do that. If I could be a combination of like perfect impressions and then Brian Regan, that would be the ideal. I have no interest. All the garbage I say, all the shit I say, <laughs> all the racist shit, all this shit, I hate it. But it's a living. You know, what are you going to do? Yeah. We got bills to pay. So I don't think it's all that maybe racist. In another, maybe in another life. What do you mean? It, that's, come on. I don't think it's all that racist stuff. There's more to it. There's pathos. What do you mean? I don't know. I wonder, How is there pathos? There's real moments. Like when I said that my mom died this week. And I said, like, Richard Gere? Maybe you could put the candle in your ass? What you were doing was you were removing the trauma and the pain with a moment of levity mm -hmm. because you're a good friend. You'd be cool if you, you turned You were using in, comedy to heal, Patch Adams style. If, if after that trauma it was unbearable to you and then Kevin Spacey went into your body as an alien from another, from another galaxy. Yeah, like it. in k pax I know. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool, I guess. I remember, it was weird. I was watching it. I kept waiting for, I remember, like, maybe I just made it up in my head that k pax turned out to be, like, the name of the slaughterhouse or something, or k pax meant something else. And that's just not in the movie at all. Well, it's the alien, no? k pax is the planet that he's from. Yeah. But I remember thinking that, like, he puts it together that k pax is, like, it's like the name of the slaughterhouse the dad worked at or something. There's something that fucking... Mm -hmm. But you know? it was a Berenstein Mandala. What? It was a Mandela. Mandala. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. The Mandela effect. Why do they call it that? Why is it called the Mandela effect? Because people think that he was killed oh. in jail or something. I thought the whole thing was and like... And they don't remember that he got out and became They couldn't tell the black president. people apart and they thought he was Morgan Freeman. Yes. And that's In what, Invictus. And they called it, yeah, they call it the yeah. Mandela effect. Yeah. Yeah. They were like Mr. President. And it's just racism. Yeah. Yeah. They call it the Sandra O oh effect. Mm hmm When you think Lucy Liu is one of the Berenstein Bears. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. It happens. It doesn't feel good when someone catches you. What's that, what's that meme of the Berenstein Bears where there's a family of pandas moving in next door and the dad's like all angry and then... Somebody just superimposed like uh, Huey helicopters over, <laughs> over like Vietnam, <laughs> like him just having a flashback. 
Okay, I never saw it. I never saw it. Smile at me then. Fine. What do you mean? I never saw it. It's funny that the Berenstein Bears dad went to fucking Vietnam, and he was in the shit, and he napalmed the panda bears. I'm sorry. What? what? I don't want the acrimony. I want part cooperation. It was a good meme. <coughs> Nick? What? Hmm? Why don't you say something? Okay. Why don't uh, you suggest a premise? Okay. Uh, here's a premise. Um, it's funny. Yeah, it That's is good. Funny. That's good. Uh, premise is uh, Biden, in addition to... It's crazy. So the Berenstain Bears... It was, here, I'll do it. I'll handle the new premise that we're talking about. Okay. It's, it's written by Stan and Jan Berenstain, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming they're a couple. Brother it's, and sister. Oh, they but are? But they fuck. Uh, do you know that they're brother and sister? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Why? What, what's wrong with that? All right, hold on. Now I got to find out. <laughs> Illustrator's best known... With both rings and pants, married for 15 years. Okay, so they were married, right? Just to imagine these people like writing a children's book and drawing it and then finishing it and putting the final touches and then just like, just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Just like, being like, I fucking love you. This is the one where the bear gets a new car. <laughs> just like, fuck you. Yeah. Oh my God, I love you so fucking much. We write these fucking books for babies. <laughs> <laughs> and then doing that for they're 59 rich. years. Yeah. yeah. She's been like, fuck. They're God. having fucking pornographic just rich eating sex. Eating her pussy. Yeah. yeah. Just, just, just munching. Just 65 years old. Just colored pencils all over the bed. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh my God. Fuck. Fuck. Your fucking pussy feels so good. Oh, your pussy I love perfect. writing these fucking books. So good after all these years. Draw, when the way, bitch, the way you draw that fucking bear gets me <laughs> so fucking hard. <laughs> I can't wait to fuck your ass. Uh, yeah. Personal lives. Yeah, I hope they say, I hope they, they. Yeah, Baron said he married 59 years till Stan's death from cancer. They had two sons, Leo and Mike. Mike Baron is a writer illustrator, has been a published author since six years. His parents are Stever Berenstein Bears. Jan Berenstein died of a stroke on February 24th, 2012. That's not as cool as fucking. Yeah. Okay, 1967, they wrote a book called Mr. Dirty versus Mr. Clean. Mrs. Clean. Once again. Yeah. Once again. Call me Mrs. Bedside Lover Boy. Lover boy. They're horny freaks. Yeah. They're no, horny that's what freaks. I mean. You can tell it. You can see it. How'd you know? Way. I couldn't see it. Because I... It's and just... you think I pathologize everything. But it's, I'm right. It's not... But how'd you see it? What were the clues? You just haven't... Just show me your two spaces after the period. The way their names are placed on the cover of the book. Okay. Yeah. It's just something about... There's like, something that... It's not centered. It's off to the bottom. It's like you can almost see them finishing the work leaving their mark on it, and walking off into the bedroom to fuck each other violently. <laughs> I don't know. That's it. That's There's something it. else. There's some other, like, wavelength that you're on. Yeah. Because you do that too much. Tax-wise, marital... But I scared myself when I did Jimmy Buffett. That one was... That, that he was on the hamburger and that he was on the plane. Yeah. That was uh, bizarre. Yeah. I don't know, man. Sometimes you just tapped into shit. It's all in the family, lover boy. But what you're tapped into is people's basis sexual desires. Yeah, and beat him when he sneezes, bedside lover boy, call me missus. <laughs> it's still in the family, office lover boy. It's still in the family, so it's like incest porn. The facts of life for grown-ups. Ooh. Mr. Dirty and Mrs. Clean. <laughs> Be good or I'll belt ya. How to teach your children about sex without making a complete fool of yourself. Never trust anyone over 13. Uh, They're freaks. Yeah. These people are absolute freaks. 
Yeah. Are they boomers? Are they like like Woodstock no, generation? No, they're boomers. They're, they're fucked up. They're the boomers that like the ones that like. This is a problem with hippies. Is all of these fucking freaks imported Eastern philosophy in like the middle of the last century, mm -hmm. and created this nightmare version of it where instead of like they don't understand. That's why they have to use drugs to, to find like ego death or whatever. But all of this stuff that was supposed about being like dissolving the self and a panacea to the uh, trappings of uh, narcissism or whatever, mm -hmm. then reinforced the thing, and then they all became like sex freak rapists. And then there's like you know some. Well, little, maybe the simpler answer is there was just pussy in it. There, yeah, there was pussy in, in all of that stuff. But that's that's you know like all of uh, the reason like the 1960s fizzled out isn't you know like the, this idea of revolution or whatever that it didn't meet, amount to anything, isn't like because the CIA was effective in like uh, like. It's because uh, they were lazy. It, like we're like mollifying all of these things. No, it's because Americans are too narcissistic to actually see any of it through. So then it's like oh like. You know, you can see it now, the same thing. It's like, oh, good for me, I went to a Black Lives Matter protest, or I posted a black square. It's like sort of like a, uh, uh, like a fast-paced, like, like a microscopic version of Well, it's like, if, if I did acid at Woodstock, that, ma that makes me an old revolutionary. Yeah, right. You know? Yeah. You Whereas, know, like, you just went to a party. Right. And you got yeah. fucked up. Yeah, and now they're all old, and they all have healing crystals, and they take fake medicine they buy on the internet, and they, yeah. you know. And they gave up on trying to fix any problems in society. Yeah, well, they were never trying to fix it. They anything. never did. Yeah. No, but that, looking, the original premise was we. This is counterculture. We're gonna like. No, they were looking for like a secular rap. They just wanted to get fucked up and get some pussy. Right. Yeah. 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 And some of them wanted to write books for children and then fuck each other. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Should we finish up? Yeah. Sure. We got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, we do. I got to go through the edit with Adam. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have to do the beginning of the thing. Yeah. Yeah. There's stuff to figure out. Okay. All right. I gotta go to the doctor also. What's wrong? Nothing. We don't have to do that for. All right. All right. Nope.